Hey everyone, a nerd named Mark here, and it's time for another Toku toy review. This time, it's for Boon Boonger's Mini Plus Set 3, which includes our Boon Boon Mach, our Boon Boon Marine, and Boon Boon Mo Safari. I almost said monster. Oh, that's the form. But yeah, I finally got this in. I've had time to build it. I just haven't had time to record my review. Um, and on top of that, I have some new stuff, which is the final release of Gachard Soto's and they just arrived the same weekend as the finale of the show. Um, but that's not for this video. Uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed building the set. It was very frustrating. Sticker hell. Very uh, So much stickers. I was so annoyed. with, the, And it was just on Mach. Mach had like unnecessary amount of stickers. To the point where I was getting like angry. Uh, putting it together. I was just like, this is stupid. I hate this. Like, it's not supposed to be like the Sotos are supposed to frustrate me, not everything else. But I got it together. I have the forms. Uh, this time, it's easier to transform this. So I'll actually be able to transform this robo in this review. And you know what? That's long enough for the intro, honestly. I'm going to jump over, change the camera real quick. We'll check it out. I'll give you some close-ups on it. Go over the box art because I love the box art. That's one of my favorite things about all the Super Sentai mini plot sets is the box art they use. Bandai does not miss when it comes to those designs. They have been great all the way back. I don't... No, I did enjoy the the, the Zenkaiser ones. But yeah, no. King Ogre and, and Boon Boonger, though, those these boxes have been just delicious. They're so good. Um, but yeah, I don't want to waste any time. I'm going to jump over and let's start looking at these a little bit closer. All right, per the usual, before we take a look at the figures themselves in the mini plaza, let's take a look at the box because the box is nice. You see the backs, we have, we have Boon Boon Mach right there. Shows which boxes make what. The, you know, the robo form and then like, you know, the little civilian robot form and the car form. Then we also see Aquamarine and Safari. Is it just Marine? No, it's just Marine. Marine and Safari. And then with their... Uh, monster form. What is that called? I think it's just called Boon Boon Robot Monster. So you see those forms, and then obviously the best part is the front. Like I love how they set these up so much. Like the mini plot boxes are probably my favorite boxes out of any uh, candy toy. Um, I like these boxes a lot to the point where I save them. I I can show you really quick one of the actual individual boxes. Um, so this is box six that has Safari on there, so it shows that. Um, but yeah, no, it's good. It's good. Um, six boxes in total. Four boxes needed to make Boon Boon Mach. And then one for each vehicle for Marine and Safari. So it's just like with the other previous uh, set two, where each box was an individual vehicle. And just like set one, uh, Boon Boon mock is technically it's it takes four boxes so how's it goes um i'll show these off i'll transform this and then because these combine with our our boon boon robo i brought that out so we can combine that and show that off for the uh robot monster form so first let's take a oh so that's going to take more time actually no we'll show it. so mock was sticker hell a lot of stickers I was shocked at the amount of stickers needed for this, um, but it did come out really good. The only downside is with the mini plot, this doesn't lock in right here too good, whereas the other side, it's locked in. Uh, it comes with two different kind of steering wheels, so obviously the Robo is holding it right there when it's in vehicle mode, but then when it's as a weapon, we have the this form for it. Um, transforming this is super easy. Um, you just kind of detach carefully the hands from there if I can do it I'm trying it's like stuck there we go here we go oh I took the whole hand out oops we'll put the hand back and then before I forget this just pops off very easily and we'll put this on instead for the weapon so now it's there then just detach these up like this and then just stand the robo up and it locks in. Oh no, chest piece fell out. Which happened last time I transformed it. 
But we can fix it. Yes, we can. Put the arms down like so. And then we'll just attach the chest. The chest piece just attaches, detaches off and it reattaches very easily. Press that in. Then I do believe these go up like this. Then it's not complete because we need to open the little visor. Now the visor is open, you can see the face of the Robo. So many stickers inside of here. So many. There's little ones on the sides, this night, even these for the purple on this are stickers, but like even behind this little mask part, there's more stickers. I actually had to pull out the Mr. Super Clear because the stickers didn't want to stick good. So I had to adhesive them in there with a little help from some clear coat. And then to complete it, just hand him their trusty little weapon. There we go. And boom, no pun intended. You now have our Boom Boom Mock Robo. I like it, the detail's great. This is probably my favorite Robo, like this season, my favorite form. The, the purple, the yellow, and the silver, and the white, like it's just a solid figure. And I'm really excited to have that go up on display because I have a spot already for it on my shelf. But yeah, that's it for this, like very, very easy. Uh, not really complicated at all. Now, we have our little Boon Marine vehicle. Is it just called Boon Marine or is it Boon Boon Marine? I don't, I don't remember. I just call them what they are. I'm like, oh, it's Marine. It's like, yeah, Marine. Um, yeah, so actually I have it up. It's Boon Boon Marine. I like this. The little mouth opens up a little fit. The stickers on this were obnoxious because there's like a whole bunch just for this little part. There were so many stickers like the bottom was two, the top had two, there's side ones. Um, obviously I had to put the, take the Mr. Clear out uh, for that as well. Then we got a little fish on the side. Stickers were a nice touch. Um, oh, they got a little mouth and you can see the little eyes right there. Then we have Safari. Has a little face, looks a little mouth right there. Um, simple to put together, side stickers, sticker right there. Boom, like not, like from a sticker standpoint, other than the inside of this one, very easy, like simple to put together. Um, but let's uh, combine with our Boom Boom Road bow to make our uh, monster robot. So obviously we start like normal with always pulling back this head for it. And then this is pretty, this is very straightforward. So basically this part right here comes out. And just like all the other robos in my other reviews, the track right there lines up inside of here. So you just take that, a little track right there, and boom. And then open the mouth, and we have our face. I like how the eyes look on that. Like this looks cool. Now we just this one's even easier. Pop it apart. Claw. <laughs> Then do the same thing with this, and this one actually folds out for another claw. And there you have it. Our Boon Boon Monster Robot. I think I might keep it on this form. I just like this teal aquamarine style, like, blue on there with, like, the more neon yellow for the, uh, for the monster. Like, it just looks so good. Um, now that they're both next to each other, it's... Take the camera, detach that, we take a closer look. Like these look so good. I am genuinely impressed with them. Like, oh, too close. But yeah, there they are. Uh, I'm gonna switch over to camera and give my final thoughts on these. And there you have it. Oh, it looks so good. It looks so good. It's a nice little robo right here. And obviously, I think I'm, I honestly, I'm not even going to bullshit you. I think I'm going to leave this in the uh, monster robo form, monster robot form, because I like that. I like, like I said, in like the close up, I love that, like teal, blue, aquamarine blue, that neon, like yellow on the safari. This looks good with contrasting colors, especially with the red, the black and the white. So it kind of, it kind of, the motif is there. I like this. So I'm going to keep it like this on display. 
Um, and his arm fell off. Way to go. I'm not editing that out. You know what? It, it happens. It happens. But that's really I'm really excited to see what else they announce for other sets down the road. Um, Boon Boonger had, or King Oger had what, like four, five sets total if you count the um, King Oger Zero and stuff like that. So I'm curious if, you know, because they, they had four sets plus the fifth. So I'm curious to see how many sets we're going to get with this. I'm still curious about the Udo stuff as well. If you haven't already, I have my Udo review for the first wave for Boon Boonger on the channel, as well as the first two waves for the mini plots for Boon Boonger. So go check those out, as well as all my other candy toy stuff. I got some commoner stuff out of Japan I or China I reviewed. I've got some other stuff coming up soon. Obviously, I have the Sotos that I'm about to work on. I might actually live stream those over the weekend. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, just make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see all that. Comment below. Let me know what you think. What is your favorite form for the Boon Boonja Robo so far? Um, I it, this is a tough one to beat, honestly. Uh, now I'm contradicting everything else I said in my set two review. Um, but from a solo robot, like Mach is it's about that purple night yellow, that contrast, and that, that looks so good. But let me know in the comments below what you think. What is your favorite robo right now in Boon Boonja? Um, but that's it. I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.